Okay, it is 5 o'clock on April 12, 2016. I'm going to call the Energy Awareness Commission meeting to order. Um, <coughs> I think the first thing we should do is introduce a new member, Jordy Veit. Welcome. Thank you. You're going to um, learn real quick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Jordy Veit, just in case any of you want to know my background real quick. Um, I have a master's in environmental science, so environmental science and biology background. So, Very good. Thank you. Welcome. First item on the agenda, let's review and look at the minutes from March 8th. Assume you all got these. Any questions or comments? If not, I'd entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second that. Motion's been made and seconded to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Next item is our home show. Um, William, I want to. Brief everybody on what we did and how you thought it went. Okay, um, and I guess before we uh, cover the home show, I would uh, we'd like to discuss uh, the oh, income, income and expense. I'm somewhere. sorry, I got ahead myself. Let's <laughs> let's look at that. The revenue and income and expense. I am trying to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Well, it uh, luckily it'll be a, a quick summary. Uh, I would say, uh, I guess the first thing would be our air conditioner check and clean program has officially begun. Um, so we haven't seen uh, any of the expenses come in there yet because uh, this one ended at, uh, um, or I guess the report goes to the end of last month. Um, we'll see how we do this year for air conditioner check and cleans. Uh, I would say the high efficiency lighting rebate is uh, doing well. Uh, and that's to be expected. I think it will for uh, probably a number of years now. Uh, and the residential lighting rebate uh, is doing very well. We're uh, already about, uh, I guess, more than halfway through for um, kind of the expected funds there. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We may have uh, a very good utilization of that rebate again this year. But I think that will be good overall. Um, generally, both lighting rebates are uh, very high. Um, kilowatt hour savings to cost paid out program. Uh, and that would conclude my summary. Uh, plus uh, there's, uh, I did notice, William, we had a good chunk in the furnace rebate. Probably some carryover from last year's business, do you think? Or was that actually yep, that, from? No, that's, uh, that's correct. It would be a uh, carryover from uh, last year's, um, or at least a uh, you know, large portion of it would be. Anticipate any shortages in any of the funds? Um, you know, I guess we'll we'll see. Like uh, many other years, I would say outside of say the solar program, if mm -hmm. we're a little low in one fund, um, you know, we can go higher spending in in other funds uh, as long as we're under the uh, total conservation improvement program funding. Um, one thing maybe to pay attention this year, a um, little bit more closely to than uh, previous years, as uh, we do have both um, natural gas savings and uh, electric savings uh, merged into uh, essentially this uh, single report summary. Okay. Um, and I think, uh, you know, generally we would like to try to, you know, just meet our electric savings programs. Um, and I guess we'll. We'll see as we move forward with uh, developing more gas programs how that will balance out uh, over the course of the year. Any other questions or comments on the CIP income and expense summary? If not, let's hear a motion to approve that. I'll make a motion to approve. Second it. Motion been made and seconded to re approve the CIP income expense summary. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that has carried. Now we'll move on to the home show. Okay. Any comments on that? Members that served and were there? No, it went okay. But I just wish that we could try to. <coughs> 
combine them next year uh, like next to like what we had talked about at the meeting next to an electric place and a next to a, an appliance because we were back in a corner where there was really nothing around us that was in with us we need a banner you know for up on top can we have a booth at the fair now I will sit there and my wife will sit there if you want to at the Brown County Fair the same style booth we could do it inside the building like what we did it again we got the money for it can we do that now, you've never done it before yeah I may need to uh, may need to run that past some of the additional uh, utilities staff here to see about uh, funding but you know I would think that would be most likely an eligible conservation improvement expense uh, you know it'd be advertising similar to this um, you know maybe have a smaller scale booth there and just you know purely cover our rebate programs you, you just had it the way we had it but even without the MIMVAC you know people yep yeah I would think uh, most of the display material would be easily reused right and then we need to work in a couple like the comic book thing and like some of those things for giveaway because that's the only reason why you're going to get people coming over if you don't give them something for nothing, they ain't gonna come. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the free giveaways do uh, do attract some attention to the booth. Well, it brings the kids, and then the parents gotta follow. <laughs> but otherwise, it went all right. Yeah, I thought our presentation was fine. I was a little disappointed in where they put us this year, but we probably don't have any control over that. Well, they said uh, that you can. I bet if we you could want request. to be alongside somebody else, all you got to do is put it down on the mm -hmm. form. Yeah, and I guess, uh, you know, this year, um, and in previous years I have requested to be located near certain other booths, uh, I believe, last year um, uh, as part of the, essentially the partnership uh, with um, New Orleans Public Utilities. Uh, we had covered our inflow and infiltration programs and I requested to be located near the Brown County booth uh, to essentially promote the rain barrels mm -hmm. that they were mm -hmm. giving out. Uh, or, you know, we don't have our own internal program, but uh, kind of would direct people over to their booth for rain barrel purchase. Um, so I think it, it is a possibility to request a certain location. Um, and I hadn't, uh, hadn't thought it through, you know, as far as exactly where we would be, uh, you know, being right next to Minnesota Valley Action Council was a mm -hmm. given this year, mm -hmm. but uh, the overall location, uh, yeah, that, that corner did seem to have reduced traffic flow. Compared to last year, but I would imagine every year is going to be a little different. Yeah. But I could concur with Ricky's comments at a more visible poster identifying exactly who we are would be helpful. Uh, is there any more discussion on uh, pursuing uh, a county fair booth? Is this something that the commissioners would be interested in pursuing? Uh, William, I'd ask you to maybe check into some of the details and requirements. And we've got one more meeting before we adjourn for the summer, and we could bring it up in, in May then. Okay, that'd be all right. Poster contest seemed to go well. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's correct. Um, yeah, the uh, poster contest. Uh, so I've returned the posters this week to the schools, mm -hmm. and uh, we've distributed the uh, chamber dollars to the top finalists. Um, so hopefully they had a chance to uh, spend those chamber dollars. <laughs> uh, I think uh, you know excellent, uh, excellent posters this year and, and good participation. Um, and again, uh, good. The weather cooperated with us, so we were able to make it to all the schools. Um, and uh, then uh, they were on display at uh, our home show booth. And we did have a few uh, students and their parents or relatives stop by and you know, take a look for either a winning poster or uh, sort through the schools as far as uh, you know, finding a, a submission there at the home show. They do like to find their own posters. 
Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, is there a way, and I don't even know if it's possible, that a guy could somehow keep some information on, like the information that we uh, pass out to people, so we could do a follow-up on them to see how many of the people are actually sending this stuff in? Is there any way a guy could do that? Um, you know, like, like if a guy had a number on the paper, just a number, and then just check them off as they come through, how many of them that actually come back from the home show? That would be for rebate programs yeah. specifically? Yeah, or? just put a number, a one, two, three, whatever it is on the top, and so you know how many go out to what's coming in and how many of them. So you can actually see if anybody's using them. Um, you know, I suppose that would be possible. I don't, uh, I guess, uh, you know, if they choose to fill out the rebate form or not, uh, you know, I, I guess, um, you know, the, I would say the home show is as much kind of an informational at the time uh, deal as it is to distribute the rebates. Um, my, my personal thoughts would be, um, you know, might be uh, difficult to, to track them versus, you know, just kind of seeing, no. uh, you know. Well, I was just wondering. I just yeah. Um, you know, it, it may be possible. I guess we could take take names of the attendee, uh, you know, attendees who picked up a form, or an address, or you know, anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be. My yeah. opinion. I think that would scare people away. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah, uh, I think you're yeah right. But if you just had a number on the form. Right. Yeah. Just number the forms that you take to the home show, and then if any of those forms with the num a number comes back, and you know it can't originated there. Yeah. Oh, color I code see. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Color code them. Yeah. yeah. Color code them for something the year. Or think of yeah. 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 Any other discussion on the home show? Oh, I'll keep quiet. All right, then we will move on to natural gas programs. William, what do you have for us on that? Okay. Well, um, researching the uh, natural gas programs, I've uh, spoken with uh, the Oatana Public Utilities, and I think they would have uh, similar programs to us. Well, in fact, uh, in discussions, we do have some of the same programs that they're offering. Um, so we currently do uh, furnace installations. Um, we also have uh, boiler installations are uh, currently offered, um, although both of their programs go to a higher dollar amount, uh, that $300 amount maximum. Um, and then uh, they also have water heaters, um, and we also have a water heater program. I would say our program uh, actually very similar there as, as mm -hmm. well. Um, uh, as far as the maximum dollar amount paid out uh, per rebate. And uh, at this meeting, uh, I haven't researched their programs uh, in depth enough to propose our own changes to the program, uh, but thought I would bring along this uh, one slide to show some of the potential programs that are out there uh, as far as expansion of the natural gas rebates. Um, and uh, at the time, uh, you know, they had really focused in on um, uh, furnace check and clean rebates as being a large uh, saver for them. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I think the furnace install and uh, boiler install was also a, a large saver. So uh, those were their two main programs that they had said were pretty easy to implement and um, also provided good gas savings. So I think those will probably be the first two that we uh, you know, look at making maybe some changes, um, and they may provide additional information on um, the type of gas savings that they are achieving to potentially justify that higher dollar amount. Uh, I believe ours currently maxes out at $200. Um, you know, this would be a $300 uh, rebate maximum. Yeah, I've been reviewed those. And then um, I guess item B uh, would be water conservation kits. Uh, and that's offered by a separate utility, um, Minnesota Energy Resources. Uh, it was uh, suggested uh, to maybe look into by the clean energy resource teams. Um, 
And uh, so this uh, general background to the water conservation kits, um, the assumption, uh, and I guess it works for, um, you know, both for electric and natural gas here in New Ulm because we're a supplier of both. Um, but under uh, this, you would assume or uh, check off a form uh, saying that you use uh, natural gas as your hot water heating source. And uh, water conservation, uh, hot water conservation through those programs can be used um, as a natural gas savings. Um, so I guess the general gist of this program would be uh, the New Alm Public Utilities would purchase the kits uh, at their own cost, um, generally give them out for free or for a reduced rate um, to interested customers. Uh, you know, I think we would most likely pursue uh, free, uh, giving out the kits for free. Mm -hmm. um, they include things like a low flow shower head, um, faucet aerators, uh, and they can, can uh, some kits uh, include other uh, things as well. Uh, you know, they may include a, a, a temperature gauge for um, uh, testing water temperatures or um, some of them may include insulation kits for older water heaters. Um, and I uh, still need to uh, get back on pricing. Um, I guess uh, early estimates for pricing would be about um, $13 per kit. Although it sounds like um, in some of these cases that included a shipping charge. Uh, I think we may be able to eliminate uh, that shipping charge. I think um, how their program is currently structured is the customer uh, goes to an online website and then requests it uh, and it's directly mailed to the customer. Uh, I think we would probably lack the scale to be able to do that type of program. Um, most likely if we were to pursue uh, uh, water conservation kits in our programs, um, they would be used, or uh, we would order a, a large number and then have them for uh, pickup at the New Ulm Public Utilities office. Do we know what savings we get? Um, I need to research the savings, uh, you know, within the uh, TRM measure, but um, I guess they, uh, Minnesota Energy Resources seem to say it was quite favorable as far as their cost to uh, savings amount. Can that be worked through uh, the Minnesota Valley Action people? Um, have them hand them out. I guess uh, this would most likely be for uh, general, uh, you know, I guess it would be, be free to everyone. Um, so I think Minnesota Valley Action Council would likely not handle that particular program. That could be one of the things we've done we could give away at the, the home show or something. Yeah, it, uh, it certainly could. Once mm -hmm. the uh, program's up and running, we could have those kits there for handout uh, at a home show. You'd probably want to make sure that they were a customer of the utility, That's though. It. That's um, the hard part about handing them out at the home show, because okay. if you're going to claim those savings, you want them to be claimed on your you system. You have to be a known yeah. public utilities customer well that's why i was wondering first yeah. about with minnesota valley have them doing it with on the, that low income program or something too. it's hard to say how they could do it i suppose well and sometimes you can give them to them to give out to the the cust to the customers yeah and as uh i guess to follow up with what lisa said i think uh you know it would be easily adopted to one of our low income programs is to give these out for free to their uh, participants uh, as long as they are a new Alm customer. I guess I would be interested in seeing the water savings of these kits mm -hmm. before we decided to invest anything in them. Uh, the savings are minimal. Right. Well, the electric and the gas savings, and we don't have all that many electric water heaters in town. There's very few, but the gas on the gas side, see what the savings are. Yep, and uh, you know I think um, well the first thing would be if uh, this sounds like a program that's worth pursuing. Mm -hmm. um, my personal recommendation would be that it is, um, so I can bring back additional information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that would be the first thing to discuss or discuss here at this meeting, uh, and then from there once I 
obtain some uh, savings estimates and I guess the uh, approximate uh, cost to obtain the units, uh, then we can maybe discuss further how the program would be run. Um, uh, the Minnesota Energy Resources representative uh, did mention that tracking can be an issue to overcome for these types of programs. So I think, uh, you know, as Lisa had mentioned, uh, important to verify that they are a new Alm Public Utilities customer. Um, and because we would most likely not operate a specific web page for it, um, you know, that may be done internally by new Alm Public Utilities staff. We could add it to a water heater program so if they replace their water heaters, they get these. Um, you know, that, uh, that may be a possibility. I know, um, I guess how I would most likely see that done is a lot of the local plumbers are familiar with our programs. Right. Um, in fact, uh, you know, our, our current water heater rebate, um, uh, now that it's been up for a, a year or two, uh, many of the vendors are familiar with it. Um, and if a qualifying model comes through, they assist the customer in, in filing the form. Um, so they, they help to do some of our own advertising uh, to promote those programs. Well, we could look at that too, so, okay. Well, I would entertain a motion that we pursue more interest in these water conservation kits. Yes. And William would check into the cost and cost effectiveness of them as, Should I make as well as distribution. Okay. Now you can, Ricky. Well, I'll make the motion. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll second that. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded that we pursue more interest in these water conservation kits, uh, determining cost and effectiveness of it, as well as distribution. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So I have our permission to go ahead with that. that. And we will move on to item five, the community solar. Okay, um, just an update. Uh, the MMUA uh, is still planning to attend our May 10th meeting. Uh, and currently the main topics that uh, I've suggested for them to cover would be um, how the regulations uh, differ or pertain to municipal utilities. Um, uh, there are some differences between uh, what uh, is required from municipal utilities um, compared to the investor owned um, and then maybe some of the effects that they've seen on um, costs or rates to the utilities uh, you know I would say probably currently in Minnesota those effects are small um, however you know it has already been debated on uh, if the customer should uh, cover some of the increased costs uh, and they may be able to talk a bit more about that uh, some of the the larger issues that they've seen statewide versus uh, at the community level. Um, and then, uh, you know, the, tonight's meeting may be a, a good time to uh, maybe discuss any other questions that we'd like to uh, see them uh, cover in, in their presentation. Could we combine this one like we did with the long-term energy and have the people down there too and just do it down there at you know, we just had the one down there from the people from the other county, Meeker County, whatever it was up there, I think. Yeah, I think um, uh, to, to speak about that, yeah. um, most likely what I will do is uh, this would be uh, part of our Energy Awareness Commission meeting. Um, and uh, as far as the long-term power committee, I was able to invite our Energy Awareness Commission members to that meeting. Uh, I would like, likewise do the same for the long-term power committee members. If they had an interest in uh, attending this meeting time, uh, then they're, uh, you know, they're open to the public. So I, anyone's free to attend uh, that particular meeting. That would be the best way to do it. Okay. I have a question. Um, so this meeting, the MMUA is going to come, and the purpose was to talk about solar. Is that, or is it to talk about any number of, um, like energy awareness, CIP regulations, or 
Um, well, I, the uh, the initial intent would be uh, to focus on solar. Okay. Um, you know, I think we could. Uh, I think the, the member who would be speaking would likely be knowledgeable in in both of those topics. Um, you know, we we may be able to ask some, uh, mm -hmm. you know, generalized uh, conservation improvement program questions, but uh, you know, I think the for for this meet or for the next meeting. I'd like to maintain the focus mostly on uh, solar programs. I believe the emphasis would be is how to incorporate it into a, municipally, a municipal utility program versus like they private. Did up there. Yeah. So that will be at our next meeting on May 10th. Anything else we need to bring up about that? Were you asking William then for questions that we would ask them? What they would cover in that? Yeah, you know, I think um, uh, since we still have a, a month to go here before the uh, official presentation is given, uh, there would be uh, time to, you know, figure out topics that we'd, or, or questions, topics that we'd like to see uh, answered about. Uh, and I guess I would like to pursue solar specifically. But. Okay. The uh, cost per panel for, for the leasing of it and the length of the leases. Who pays the maintenance? A lot of this information may be incorporated on the on the Moorhead right. site. Obviously, they see. I think have they just a site where you it. can click on for more information there. Yeah, Moorhead just got into it. I think was in so. this last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, maybe we can kind of merge uh, item A and, and item B mm -hmm. uh, at this time. Um, so, uh, yep, Moorhead Public Service uh, last year, I believe it was, um, installed a 44 kW system uh, and sold uh, shares of those panels out to their customers. Um, and they are a municipal utility. Um, they've just, uh, so far they've provided me with some basic background as to their project. Um, and I've been reading through some of the documents that are provided on their website. So I uh, have not uh, had a chance to you know, officially ask them to present for our mm -hmm. meeting. Uh, but I think that would be uh, you know, an additional uh, potential presenter that may be uh, worthwhile to have and see what type of experience they've had. Um, I guess my initial discussion with him, he said uh, that uh, the 44 kW portion of their solar project uh, actually uh, was sold out in about a two week period. So uh, for their particular community, it sounds like they had uh, pretty good results with it. Um, and they're constructing an additional 20 kW system uh, this year. And he said that uh, after that first inrush, the um, I guess sales have been slower for those mm -hmm. new panels. Mm -hmm. And are they allowing uh, them just, just to get into it one time a year or all year round? Um, I can't speak on that uh, at this time. I think we should ask them, you know, instead of so a person could do it here, set it up for like in a certain month of the year, you could get into that system. And uh, I believe, but I, I can't confirm at this meeting that it is a one time per year uh, sign up. What else did we talk about? The tax advantage for getting in on that? The tax advantage for the city. And that may be involved, involved in that. Maybe a good question. I don't think to, there was uh, any tax advantage to the city. See, the other one was a co-op, wasn't it? Right. Now this would be different, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't this believe is, this is I don't a municipal believe. utility versus a right, co-op. but I I don't believe that there is any tax advantage to the city on that. Perhaps MMUA would be able to answer. Mm -hmm. that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, I think the MM and that may be a good question to bring up to the MMUA uh, at that presentation. Um, I believe that uh, there are some ways around that where. Uh, essentially the private business who does the installation um, owns the panels for a number of years and leases it to the utility um, and I think that's pretty much how they're all kind of set up yep, or uh, a lot of them are set up that way and that's uh, that's, that's how Meeker County was too mm -hmm. yeah that's primarily so that uh, you know someone uh, one entity can make use of those tax credits mm -hmm. uh, even if it is uh, municipally owned uh, or, or right. cooperative. Mm -hmm. um, the city would actually get the tax break off your taxes at $9,000 or whatever it was. The city would actually get that, not the customer. I'm not sure. Uh -uh. That, I, don't I, have they doubt, said it was, I would doubt that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the I don't think there's any tax benefit to the city to do the solar, and that's. Oh. I guess I'll find out. Yeah. And I I think. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I think Lisa is correct there, but uh, I think our the MMUA representative would uh, most likely have a better handle of that, or could get us the, you know, the exact answers to those questions. Um, so that I can uh, certainly add that to the list um, to maybe discuss uh, the tax advantages uh, that are in place. Okay, that will take care of our community solar for today. Uh, again, that will be continued more at our next meeting. Uh, next item is uh, we do need to elect a vice chair in case I'm not here. <laughs> Can I hear nominations? Rick? Yeah, that's fine. It's been nominated. Do we got a second? second. I'll second it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other nominations? If not, all in favor of Ricky Houck being our vice chair, please say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Waiting for you to say something. I quit, Rick. Bob. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Ricky. Yeah, no problem. Any other comments or items to bring up at this time? If not, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn until our next meeting, May 10th. I'll the motion. Oh, second. Made and second. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Aye. we're done at 535. Thank you.